So hello guys, today we will start the fourth exercise which is on moving loads on a two-dimensional steel frame as you can see here. This is a frame that we are going to analyze. So uh, I will follow the, the steps here shown in this book. First of all, let's select this icon and make this section database the one that we are going to use. Okay, so let's go to frame 2D design. And go to tools, job preferences, databases still in timber. Press this button here and go to Simple Cut Pro. Okay. Make it go up. Okay. So let's define the axis of the structure. First of all, the position is zero. Number of repetitions four and the distance is three. I want the numbering to be ABC. Okay. Here we just have to add zero, a three, five, and 6.5 okay and apply you may see the structural axis have been drawn and you can see that this distance over here is 3 meters and this distance over here is also three meters okay as you may see from here let's close now and go to the member definition let's pick this just going to erase all these sections okay pick new pick a uh, steel member pick the I section simple cut pro okay and define an HEA 200, let like that, that, HEA 260, and also an EPE 200. Okay, add. Close this. Now let's go and uh, close this and pick bars. The bar type. We are going to define the column, so the bar type will be column. This is the section that we are going to use. And I'm going to type the coordinates, which will be 0, 0, 0, 5, enter, 12, 0, 12, 5, enter, 6, 0, 6, 3, and okay. Here we have our columns. Now we need to go to the library structure definition and define a roof and an overhead traveling crane beam. Let's go first here, pick this. Okay. Length will be 12. The height will be 1.5 and the number of fields will be 8. Let's go to section. Now, and I want to hold truss shorts upper and lower the D, C, E, A, D. Okay, it's this one here. 90. Okay, now I'm just going Control C, Control V to copy that. And here I want a C, A, E, 70 by 7. Okay, now I'm just going to copy it. It. Let's go to the insertion point and it will be 0, 0, 5. Apply. OK. Uh, we have our roof. Now I need to define the beam for the crane. Press once again here. Double click here. The length will be 12 once again. I want the height of 1 and number of fields will be 8. For the section, the same we are going to use here the same cross-section that we have used previously in 
the roof okay okay copy this to here the diagonals just pick the this one here okay copy that paste that here apply oh sorry I need to select insertion point which will be zero zero two apply okay now I have to do one step here as you may see bar number one and this little bar here from this crane beam are super are um, are on the same axis uh, I need to this is just a duplicate I need to eliminate this bar control this bar press control and select this bar and press delete okay apply now we need to define the supports which are going to be which are going to be fixed supports for these lower nodes okay pick the supports fixed current selection and apply okay we have defined our geometry now we have a structure to work on so uh, I am now running out of time so thank you for watching and please come back